What's up guys? Justin here with the sketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're checking out an extension from Curic that helps you better manage your scenes in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Curic Scene Manager is a free extension from Curic that you can download from his Gumroad page. I will link to it in the notes down below, but this is basically a tool that helps you better organize and work with your different scenes and other things like that. Note that this isn't currently listed as being compatible with SketchUp 2024, but it's working with my SketchUp 2024. Um, also, you can download it for free, or you can also put in a dollar amount and give uh, Curic a little bit of a donation for all the work that he's done. Either way, you can get this right here. Now let's jump over into SketchUp and take a look at the way that this works. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this industrial one bedroom loft from Paul 4. You can download it from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. So I'm going to bring this in and we're going to set up some views. And so what Curic Scene Manager does is it's basically a tool designed to help you manage all of your different scenes inside of SketchUp. So when you first activate it, what it's gonna do is it's going to pop up um, something that looks like this. So it'll pop up a little menu right here, and then it's going to give you something that'll help you manage your scenes. Now, we currently don't have any scenes in here, so I'm gonna add a couple, and then we can take a look at the way that this works. All right, so I've added a bunch of scenes, and this whole thing is a little bit of a mess, which is fine because we're gonna use Curic Scene Manager in order to manage this. So now I do have all of these different scenes in here, right, and I can toggle between them, but they're not really organized, and I don't really know what's what, and I need to adjust some styles across all of these, and so this tool is gonna to help us out. And so when you open up Curic Scene Manager, notice what it does is it gives you all of these different sections, right? So these are like preset, sections for elevations and building sections, interior elevations, things like that. And so you can use this in order to organize your scenes in a way that you can't with the tabs up above. And so first off, notice how each one of the scenes that I have in here is in here and I can double click on it in order to go to that scene. So say that first off, I wanted to create this as my working view for the second floor scene. What I can do is I can right click on this rename it and we're going to call this working level two, right? So we've got a working level two. I've also got a working level one in here somewhere. Um, and this is why you should organize your scenes as you go, but that's okay. We'll call this one working level one. So working level one right here. Now, at the moment, these are both in here. Notice how when you rename them using Curic Scene Manager, it also renames them in the tabs up above. But we're really using Curic Scene Manager at this point to manage our different scenes. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by dragging these into my modeling section right here. Well, notice how this modeling section is going to act as a folder, and I can place all of these in the folder like this, right? So now I've got multiple different scenes in here, but I can minimize them. So as we go through this, like say we wanted to call this our building section. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this to be um, a parallel projection scene right here. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna update this camera view. But this one we'll call building section right here. And we could take this and put it on our, either our sections or our interior elevations. In this case, I'll put this under sections right here. And so we can do this for all of our different scenes, right? So we could call this interior or level one 3D view and level two 3D view right here. We're gonna go ahead and click and drag this over here like this. So another cool thing about this is I don't particularly like the styles that we're using, right? So those are a little bit problematic. Like if I look at my working view, my current style right now has all of these section cuts active and I don't necessarily want that. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this style and I wanna apply a different style to my working level one. So I'm gonna go into my styles right here and we're just gonna pick maybe the shaded view right here, probably shaded with textures. We're gonna turn off our section fills because that function isn't working very well. We'll probably turn on, um, this is a working view, so I probably don't want ambient occlusion or profiles. So we'll go ahead and we'll call this good, right? But what I wanna do is I wanna update my working view level one with this revised style, right? But notice how 
my other views are still showing that other that other style, right? So if I look at my building section right here, this has that nasty style in here where things aren't the way that I want them to be. Well, what I can do is I can take this working level one, which has the style that I like. I can right click on it. Notice how there's an option in here for copy prop. And so a prop is basically the name for something associated with your scene. Okay, and so once we've done that, right, we've taken that one style right here, we've applied it to this first model, I can right click on it and I can copy that style and then I can paste it to other scenes, right? So if I come in here and I paste it to like my level one 3D view, that's gonna go through and it's gonna paste that style that we had copied to each one of these scenes. So now these all have that style associated with them. And so you could do other things as well. So let's say for example, that we were gonna create some plan views. So let's go ahead and let's go to our working level one view. And actually I think I created some plan views. There we go. All right, so we've got a plan view right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste that prop and I'm gonna rename this level two plan view right here. This one I'll call level one. I'm gonna paste the prop to it, which is going to base, paste that scene, but then I'm going to call it level one plan view right here. And so we could take these and we could drag them into plans up above like this. You can reorder them by clicking and dragging them. But another cool thing about this is if you've ever had that issue where your camera drifts a little bit, right? So say that, for example, you took your level two plan view and you, um, you zoomed in using a box like this in order to get it really centered on your scene, right? And you update this. Well, if you've ever run into this issue before, um, what can happen is now these plan views aren't aligned, right? Like each one of them has a slightly different camera view and it's really annoying. Well, if you right click on this and do a copy prop, you can copy the camera from a plan view, right? So I can copy the camera view from my level two. I can right click and I can paste it on my level one plan view. Now, notice if I click across both of these, they both have the same camera. So you can paste a camera location on these, um, which is super, super valuable. All right, so another super powerful thing that a lot of people deal with when they're working with scenes is updating tag states. And what I mean is say that right here, right? I've come in here and I've created a view. Let's go ahead and let's update this so we can see inside a little bit better. So I'm gonna update this scene, but notice how in all of these scenes, I have a furniture tag that I toggled off. And so like, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop like this bed and everything associated with it on that tag as well, right? We're gonna put them all on the furniture tag right here, which is fine, except if we click across them, right, we can't actually see any of our furniture. That happens with like uh, tags that get added later or something like that. Well, this allows you to update the tag states of multiple scenes at once. So if you look at this, right, I can select all of these, right click and go to tag states. And so I can get tags. So I'm gonna click on the get tags button. It's gonna pop this up right here. And I can set this so that furniture is not hidden on selected, right? So I uncheck this box right here and I can click on okay. That's gonna go through and that's going to turn on the furniture layer in all of these different scenes right here. So now if I go to like my level two 3D view, you can see that the furniture is toggled back on right here. So you can set any tag you want to on or off across multiple scenes using this tool. And so theoretically, right, you can right click on this and you can also save your entity states, right? Like your show hide. This one isn't working for me. I'm not sure if I'm trying to use it wrong or what, but um, I tried to do a hide in selected scenes, click on okay, but it sh still shows this in all of the scenes. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with this one exactly. Um, so probably you're gonna be using the tag states a little bit more. If somebody else knows how that one works, leave a comment below and let me know. Um, but still super powerful from that standpoint. And then one other feature that I actually really like is you can take all of these and you can use it to reorder your scenes in SketchUp from top to bottom. So for example, I'm going to drag my 3D views to the very top. We'll uncheck this right here, but we've got these 3D views at the very top. Then we've got our plans, then we've got our sections, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my working here. And I'm actually going to move these 
down um, to the very bottom. So my 3D views are gonna be down, but my working views are at the top, right? Because these aren't really in much of an order right now. Well, if you click on the drop down right here, you click on the option to reorder position. So we're gonna click on reorder position right here. And you may have to close this and reopen it like this. But then it's gonna ask if we wanna reorder all scenes. The answer is yes. So we're gonna click on okay. It's gonna go through and it's going to put these in order based on your top to bottom order right here. And if, if, if you ever wanna change that, you can just run it again, right? So I'm just gonna do this again, reorder position right here. And it's gonna take those and it's going to reorder them. So now my 3D views are in here first. So you can use this to reorder those scene views directly inside of SketchUp. Now there are some other features in here like 2D export, export to DDF or um, DXF. Actually the 2D export will work. The others um, integrate with Curic section, but these, so let's pick a couple of these, right? We're gonna take maybe our 3D views right here. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna click on 2D export and it's going to give me the ability to export these as images. So I'm just gonna pick a spot so we'll pick a folder right here, but it's gonna take all of those images or all of those scenes and it's going to export them to an image, which you can then open up on your computer. And so if you look at exported all of these with your image label directly to that folder. So if you wanna export a bunch of images at once, this gives you the ability to do that by scene, which is pretty cool. All right, so overall, I could totally see myself using this to manage my scenes inside of SketchUp. It's much easier to use and easier to reorder. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about this tool? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.